Hadley joins us from Adnock in Abu Dhabi. And I understand you're gonna, you've been speaking to a man who, um, well, I saw him, I said hello to him, but I didn't get a question into him about Mr. Trump. I wonder if you managed to do that. I did indeed, Steve. I asked him about the criticism that OPEC and non-OPEC members had over the weekend that they're artificially uh, keeping prices up. And I thought it was really interesting. Also, I got the chance to ask him about what his outlook for the next meeting in June will be. He was talking about inviting many, many more participants, people from Egypt, Africa, South America. We can kind of guess who those folks would be. But it was interesting as well. You know, I said, what is the response to this kind of criticism? And I also asked, do you think it's fair? Let's listen in. This is the problem with the social media. People talk and, and even leaders talk, but, uh, but, but you need to go and look at the fundamentals. Uh, and the fundamentals of the OPEC and non-OPEC deal was very clear from the beginning. We will, uh, we will remove, uh, we, will, we will cut the, the, the production to allow the market to have a full recovery. Our problem is not that. The problem is if we keep the market oversupplied or if we uh, drown the market again, What's going to happen? No one is going to invest, and we will have a way bigger problem down the road. So what we are doing, we're trying to incentivize investors to come and invest again. More than $2 trillion need to be invested to be able to get back the lack of investment that was not, that was not done in the past two years. So this is, I think, it's a bigger picture than just looking at the price today or yesterday and say the prices are high. So a lot of success coming out of this meeting of OPEC and non-OPEC ministers. What's that meeting in June going to look like? I think the meeting in June will be, will be very interesting for a couple of reasons. First of all, we are trying to, uh, to uh, put a proposal on, uh, on, on a structure to the minister. So that is going to be something that is important. Uh, uh, that the first time we will discuss it. We're not going to sign or do anything in June, most probably until the end of the year. But that is an important element. The other element is we said in the last meeting in, in, in Jeddah that the what are the levels of inventories that, uh, a fair level of inventories that we should target. And we have uh, the committee, the Joint uh, Ministerial Monitoring Committee, have assigned the technical team to go and work on, on this new level of inventories that, that is fair, that is balanced, that doesn't take into account the two years of significantly oversupplied uh, market. And they will come back and, and, and explain to the ministers when we meet. The other thing is the conference. The conference we're trying to, to organize uh, probably the largest ever conference in, in the history of OPEC because this, this year we are not only uh, a, a, uh, uh, 12 or 14 countries, we are 24 countries and we have expression of interest from many other ministers to join. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.